Happy Wednesday. I'm Andy Ross. I am uh, one of the pastors at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. I am also um, the grandfather or Zandor the Magnificent for a wonderful gentleman named Ross um, who is so into Legos. Uh, Phoebe and I aren't that excited about Legos. Sometimes she eats one, sometimes I step on one, but oh my goodness, this is such a fun building toy for young people like my grandson, Ross. Yeah. And it's really cool. Our church, Northminster, on Wednesday nights is having Lego team building uh, fun and fellowship. I encourage you to come on down Wednesday nights and join us for music um, youth groups for middle school, high schoolers, and Lego fun for the kids. Duplos for the little ones. I want us to think about what we're building in our life. What are the building blocks that count? In our schedule of readings today, in the New Testament, we're directed to Paul's first letter to the Corinthian Christians, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, and he gives us these great words. Knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. Love builds up. That's the phrase from the Apostle Paul. He talks about rules, how there is, yes, one God, and this one God calls us to come to him for us to find our life with one another in this one God, yes. But when it comes to rules about what to eat, what not to eat, um, as I understand it, rules about theology, faith, politics. Paul makes this observation. Food does not bring us nearer to God. Right. He says we need to be sensitive to the fact that we're not all at the same level of understanding in this. Um, God does care. And when you use your freedom carefully, others won't be thrown off track. The precious reality of God's blessings is how he is building us together in his spirit into a mighty device in this world that is a witness of God's hope for others. Love builds up. Ask yourself today and this week, are the things you are doing building up others in God's love? Are the videos you're watching, the podcast you're listening to, the news sources you're reading, watching, is your life about building up others in the love of Jesus Christ or tearing apart? Now more than ever, we need God's love to build us up for one another as a witness of God's love in this world. Something we need to wake up to. Lord bless you.